try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for being here i really do appreciate and uh, i'm so happy to be doing this video today and you know what make yourself comfortable cup of tea coffee some wine water and it's not looking so good outside actually it's kind of gloomy so i think it's gonna rain at some point and uh, i'm not mad about it actually i'm really not mad about it because i'm here now doing this video and i am super super grateful so uh today's video we're gonna talk about um i'm gonna share my journey no yeah i'm gonna talk about forgiveness and my journey with forgiveness and um i think you're gonna need a drink not necessarily a drink but you know what i mean i think you're gonna need something to keep your company as you watch this video because i don't know how long it's gonna take but i'm hoping it's not gonna be too long because nowadays i've been doing long videos and uh, i would think that i never used to speak on this channel when i started my youtube channel it's kind of shocking to be honest it's really shocking because i'm having so much fun recording these kind of videos and i love doing vlogs as well i really love doing the vlogs when i have like a real connection with, with with you people um i like showing bits and pieces of my life so that you can get to know me more and of course i did a video answering all your questions about me if you haven't watched that video please make sure you watch that video anyway so today's video like i said uh, we're gonna talk about um forgiveness it's gonna be uh, another very honest conversation i'm gonna talk about my story with forgiveness and uh, of course i'm gonna talk about the things i've done to let go of the bitterness and to let go of the pain and uh it's gonna be a very honest conversation that is what we are doing on this channel and i'm really so happy to be honest doing this kind kind of conversation because i know someone out there is getting um someone out there is getting the benefit out of these kind of conversations because sometimes you don't get to speak about these things you know we were taught to um to be embarrassed when we talk about these things so we were taught to to just move on with life you know so it happened to you it happened so what do you want to do just move on with life you know that is how people simplify pain or heartache or trauma but for me, I've chosen to speak about these things could happen to every one of us. And uh, yeah, so that's the reason why I'm doing this video. And I also want to let you that uh, it's very possible to forgive. And uh, it's for your own good to forgive. It's not about the other person, actually. It's not about the person who hurt you. It's not. When you decide to forgive someone, it's about you. It's about you living a completely free life. When you decide to forgive, you're not doing anyone a favor, actually. You are not doing anyone a favor when you decide to forgive that person. And uh, there is no justified resentment. There is no justified resentment. Of course, I'm just saying these things, like, um, but it has taken me so long to come to that realization. Trust you. I used to be uh, a very bitter person, like I said, and uh, I would carry grudges for years, bitterness for years. And uh, until one day I came to realize, my dear, this bitterness is killing you. Mm -hmm. I woke up one day and decided it's time to let go. It's time to forgive. Especially when I started work working on myself. And I'm lying to you, telling you that I woke up one day and decided to forgive. No, it didn't happen overnight. It took me months to let go of the bitterness. And it has taken so much work. I've done so much inner work. I've done so much in work. I've woken every single day chanting, I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness. I've, I've done that word, words of affirmation. You know, people, I'm a, 
I'm a very big on words of affirmation. So I've said that I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness every single day for quite some time, you know, wanting to forgive, um, to forgive people. Cause you know, I'm also not perfect. I understand that very well. I've listened to, uh, to podcasts, I've watched YouTube videos. I have listened to the great speakers, you know, Oprah Winfrey, Steve Harvey, Tyler Perry. Like I've, I've done so much. I've reflected on my life. I've gone back to where all this started, you know, just wanting to let go of the bitterness. Because I'm not going to lie here, yeah, by the way, I've been holding so much bitterness. And uh, now that I'm completely free, that's the reason why I'm doing this video, actually. Because I realize this video might be beneficial to someone. Someone might be seated somewhere and uh, thinking, I'm so bitter with this person. I'm so bitter with the other person. And I think it's time to let go. And if you're watching me, you came to the right channel because that is what we are talking about. So I can confidently say I am completely free and uh, I'm in a better place. And I can talk to you guys about forgiveness. So these are the things that I've done. To let go of the pain so the first thing uh when you are in the um in a journey to forgiveness the first thing you need to do is uh to acknowledge the pain to acknowledge the pain to feel the pain and to know that it's okay to feel pain it's okay to be angry it's okay to um to feel frustrated disappointed it's okay to feel pain and you're supposed to feel that pain because you know what we do especially um for me i've done that in the past is numbing the pain ah uh, just moving on with life moving on with life you know uh, those things happen so i can just move on with life but i'm telling you that at some point you will have to address that pain i don't know about other people but from what i've been reading and learn you have to at some point you'll have to address that pain you have to heal your past trauma or whatever happened to you. You have to address that pain. And the first thing you're supposed to do or the first thing I did is acknowledging the pain, accepting these things happened to me and it's okay to feel pain. It's really so much okay to feel the pain. There's nothing wrong in feeling the pain. There is no shame. And uh, once you accept the pain, you're on your way to healing and then uh the next thing uh you have to forgive yourself that is what i did you really have to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to go through the things you went through because you know sometimes uh, we beat us we beat ourselves so much thinking that uh oh probably i should have done this and that i should have protected myself i should have i should have told him or her don't do this to me don't do that to me you're supposed to forgive you to forgive yourself and be easy on yourself because um you did what you you would have done at that point maybe you didn't do anything especially if you you were a child and something happened to you what were you supposed to do nothing even sometimes when you when you're an adult someone can hurt you you don't know what you're supposed to do after some time you realize i should have stand up for myself but then you realize you didn't do that but you cannot beat yourself too much about that you are supposed to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to go through what you went through. Another thing that I've come to realize is that uh, life is perfect. Like I said in my previous videos, whatever is happening to you is supposed to happen to you so that it can push you to the next level. You know what I mean? And uh, whatever things I went through, that's the reason why I'm here. I wouldn't be here talking about forgiveness if I wasn't hurt as a child, if I wasn't uh, hurt as an, as an adult. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be here talking about forgiveness. So whatever is happening to you or whatever happened to you was supposed to happen so that it can push you to the next level or so that you can learn something about it or so that you can heal other people. That's something else actually. Probably I was hurt and you were hurt as well so that you can heal yourself and heal someone else you know what i mean because life is perfect life is perfect especially what happened in the past we cannot change the the clock of time and another thing uh, you're supposed to know and i also came to learn this one this uh much later uh those people who hurt you they didn't know better because when you when you know better you do better i'm sure if they knew 
those words they were saying to me were hurting me they probably would have stopped so uh, when you know that uh, it kind of becomes a bit easier for you to forgive people and at the same time you don't know what those people were battling at that time at that point in life they probably were battling so many things another very important point and i should have said this before i started uh, the video before i started having this conversation is uh, i read this quote i think from oprah winfrey refusing to forgive or not forgiving is like taking poison and expecting the person who hurts you to die can you imagine that so it's you taking poison and uh, imagine uh, the person who did you wrong is gonna die so who is gonna die that's why the bitterness was killing me and is killing you if you're in that stage. So um, if you wrap your, your head around that quote, you can you kind of understand that the bitterness is a poison. It's a poison that is killing you and you have to let go. Another point is uh, those people, you are allowing them to live in your head rent free. They're not paying anything they are living in your head because you realize sometimes when you have something that is bothering you or someone did this and that to you they are constantly in your head they are constantly in your head they're not leaving you when you're at work you're thinking about them when you're at home you're thinking about them wherever you are you're just thinking about them they are living in your head and they don't even know actually i can tell you this they don't even know what they did to you they don't know they are oblivious they're oblivious so they might be oblivious to what, what they did to you and you're here several years later several years later still worrying about whatever they say to you it's time to let go it's time to let go it's time to let the bitterness go trust you me. another thing that we, we need to know is uh forgiveness uh does not mean what they did was okay forgiving them you don't okay their behavior. It's not like you're okaying their behaviors or what they did to you. You're just doing it for yourself. That's my other point. Forgiveness is about you. It's not about them. It's not about them. It has nothing to do with them actually. It has nothing to do with whoever wronged you. It has everything to do with you. Or sometimes you're gonna forgive someone who didn't give you an apology. Yeah, you will have to do that, trust you. Who is not even sorry someone who is not even sorry that they hurt you and you have to forgive them because you don't have a choice because it's not about them it's not about their apology it's not about them accepting and acknowledging their mistakes and of course sometimes that is what we wanted we would want to i would want someone who hurt me to acknowledge that they did this and this and probably offer an apology but darling it's not coming it's not coming trust me it's not coming so what do you do you have to forgive them another thing i did is uh and i don't know if i've said this is uh words of affirmation like i said i'm so big on words of affirmation you have to tell yourself every single day every time i am forgiveness 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 the same way you tell yourself i'm so beautiful i'm worthy i'm good enough I'm focused, I'm guided, I am talented. You have to include I am forgiveness, I am forgiveness. You have to include that so that it's gonna sink in, it's gonna sink in. And I've been doing that actually, I'm really, especially when I realize, if I realize that something is bothering me, probably at work, maybe someone has done this and that, and uh, it's not uh it's still in my head a couple of days later i have to say that i'm forgiveness i'm forgiving because like i said it's about you forgiveness is about you it's not about it has nothing to do with whoever around you it has everything to do with you and uh, another thing i did actually is uh and you can do that too is uh praying praying is really so important especially when you do uh you're very sincere to God. You tell God, I want to forgive this person. I want to forgive my past. I want to live beyond my past. If you ask God sincerely, deep down in your heart, you know this is what you really want. God, I need to forgive this person. I need to let go of this person. God is going to answer your prayer. And with time, it's going to become a bit easier for you even to talk about whatever happened in that period so uh prayers like i said i prayed a lot i fasted for days 
because I needed to let go of the bitterness. Another thing is forgiveness um, gives you back your power. You know what I mean? Because when you don't forgive, those people, they are controlling you. They are controlling you. How you live, how you feel, what you think, because every time they are here, they are in your head. Every time you want to do something, you remember, oh my God, these people, but these people, they say this and that. Every time you know, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, I can't do that. I'm so ashamed, I can't do that because this and this say that. But when you forgive, you let go of the bitterness, it means you've, you've taken back your power. You've taken your power back to you because it belongs to you. It doesn't belong to them. So forgiveness is taking your power, taking your power back and be, being in control of your life. And I was reading this book uh, from Taylor Perry. I think I'm going to be speaking about him every single day. Because that book has really done wonders to me. Um, I, I read a quote. He said, um, no matter how difficult, how disturbing your past experiences are, they don't have to crush your soul. You can transcend your experiences. You can forgive. You can live beyond your experiences. You can forgive. And yes, you can. And you can let go of the pain. Another thing, when you're a Christian, because personally I'm a Christian, forgiveness is a commandment from God. We have to forgive. We have to forgive. We we don't even have a choice. Because we also want to be, for, to be forgiven by God. And also, we are not perfect. We are not perfect. You know, we've had so many people probably, and we would want them to forgive us. So it's only fair for us to forgive other people. I think that is really so helpful when it comes to forgiveness is, uh, and even life in general is meditation. Meditation is so, so important. And I think I spoke about it on my last video. It's so important. If you need clarity in your life, if you need to know the direction of your life, if you need to know your purpose in life, if you need uh, God to speak to you or the source, if you need a if you need a clear message from the source, meditation is the way to go. Meditation is so so important, and uh, it has helped me as well to forgive. And sometimes uh, when I'm meditating, I would um, even when I'm praying, I would uh, talk to that person, not physically. I would talk to that person and tell them I have forgiven you. I'm letting you go. I'm releasing you from my heart. I have forgiven you. That has worked also by the way. I don't know whether it sounds spooky or weird, but I've done that. You know, sometimes you know you can uh, have something bothering your head or someone bothering your mind. They won't leave your mind. They won't leave you alone because uh, you're carrying the bitterness of what they did to you. And you know, when I just when I'm praying or even when I'm meditating or even when I'm just in the middle of something, I'm like, I've forgiven you. I would mention their name. I'm forgiven you. I've let you go. And uh, I'm completely free. <sighs> then take a deep breath. And, and of course, it doesn't happen just like that. Trust you me. It, it requires a lot of inner work. A lot of inner work. It does that. And you know what? Especially when I, uh, I came into this season, because for me, I woke up one day. Of course, I didn't wake up one day. I'm just it's, I'm just using that as a figure of speech. I woke up one day and decided I didn't like the way my life, how my life was. And I'm not saying I have a bad life, to be honest. Um, my life is, is, I have everything I need. But um, inside, I woke up one day and I said, I need to work on myself. I need to, to know my life purpose. I need to live a purpose for life. I need to work on my gifts. I need to have clarity on what I'm supposed to do in life. Because um, I won't lie, I was tired of waking up every day and going to work. And um, and I don't know if I should say this at this point, but I'll just say that. And uh, I just woke up one day, I had a very deep reflection of my life. Yeah, I've had so many good experiences and bad experiences like anyone else. But I woke up one day and decided um, I, I don't like the way I'm living my life. And I started working on myself. And when I started working on myself, that is when I realized I needed to forgive my past. I needed to let go of the bitterness. I needed to let go of the, my past experiences. That is when I started um, 
working on all these things letting go of the bitterness because letting go of the bitterness also means letting go of the shame you know if there were things that were said to you when you were young even now when they brought shame into your life when you decide to forgive even the shame you won't even feel shame or embarrassed or whatever even whatever happened to you in your past when you forgive yourself you won't feel shame about yourself about what happened because you know shame feeling shame is, is a very strong uh, emotion it weakens you weakens your mind weakens your um, you know your attitude sometimes you want to do something but you feel embarrassed you feel shame so i had to work on all those things and uh, i can tell you this if i hadn't worked on myself still working on myself i wouldn't come here and record this kind of video because i would feel so embarrassed and i would be very ashamed like why am i talking about those things because that is what we were taught by the society you're supposed to feel embarrassed for being vulnerable for being honest but then again i want to be uh, uh i want to be me i want to be authentic i want to be honest so now that there is a vacuum um after working on the bitterness of love after letting go of the anger because that is what happened to me actually when i decided to let go of the pain let go of the anger let go of the bitterness there was some kind of a vacuum that was created in my heart and uh, you can feel in the vacuum with so much love you know so much compassion you can work on being more compassionate to others being more kind to others humility um self-discipline you can work on your gifts you know you can ask god for your purpose in life that is what happens actually when you release the anger, when you let go of the bitterness. But you know, sometimes, and I went through this myself, is you want to hold on to that anger because it's kind of giving you satisfaction in a way. Or you kind of feel like, oh, I'm punishing the other person so that's why I don't want to forgive them. Too bad they don't even know you're holding on to any anger, to be honest. So um, you kind of, because you're used to that, you're used to the anger, you're used to the bitterness. You don't know how to live without the bitterness. You really don't know how to live with the bitterness. And it did happen to me. That is why I'm sharing this. And uh, of course, now I had to start cultivating uh, good energy, positive energy to fill in the vacuum. Of, like I said, filling myself with the uh, working on being more loving, being more compassionate, being more understanding, you know, working more on uh, how can I share myself with the world um, in a beneficial way, working more, refining your gifts, asking God for your purpose in life or asking the source. So like I said, and I'm going to say it again, I am completely free. I'm free of anger, free of bitterness. And you can also do that as well. You can let go of those people. You can let go of those people living in your head rent free. You can forgive. And also something else I forgot to say, you can forgive people, but you don't have to be friends with them. You don't have to talk to them. You can love them from a distance. You know what I mean? Uh, depending on the uh, dimension of your friendship, relationship, whatever it is, or whoever hurts you. So uh, you don't have to feel compelled to forgive someone so that you can be with them. If that is not what you want, you can just forgive someone and you don't have to see them, you don't have to talk to them, but you've completely forgiven them. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm completely free. I'm so happy and I'm ready to work on my vision and I'm ready to move forward. And you can also do the same as well. Like I said, fill in the vacuum with so much love. Take it easy. I can tell you that it's not an easy journey. Forgiving someone is... Uh, Forgive, the forgiveness is a process and it, it takes so much energy it takes time but it's it's very possible it's really so possible and when you taste the freedom on the other side you really won't care i'm telling you you won't care about so many things in life trust you you won't you won't even care about what people are saying about you you're gonna be you really you're gonna show up in the world the way you're supposed to you're gonna show up uh, on whatever platform you want to show up like the way you are you won't feel the need to um to be validated you won't feel the need to uh you won't feel the need to be told you you what or what you're just gonna be okay whether people are gonna validate you or not so forgiveness is really so important and um i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have 
don't forget to like and like i say share the video with your friends you know give your friends some good energy good vibe and i hope you all she's gonna enjoy the video thank you so much for watching my channel thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for thank you for everything i'm really so excited to be honest i'm so happy you know someone might look at the views and think oh the views are not so many but those are real people watching you those are real people watching me and i i really don't take that for granted so thank you so much and i'm gonna upload a video now on youtube the video about uh, my journey with confidence how i lost confidence and what i did to gain back my confidence then it's a journey so make sure you watch that video and uh, don't forget to leave a comment and like the video as well so i'll see you on my next video stay safe and god bless you you forgot to tell me that i didn't show you my outfit of the day and you know what i've decided to show you my outfit of the day even after the video um, i've even taken off my necklace my bangle because i don't know why i've done that to be honest but we're still gonna see my outfit of the day and today i'm wearing this cute cute dress this dress It's a beautiful dress actually from Shein. Shein Australia and uh, that is my outfit of the day. Let me know what you think about the dress. Everybody.